<laughs> hey guys this is our our video for the week because we have so much footage that we gathered from fishing and hanging out that we actually don't have anything to publish but uh i just want to give you a follow-up on this stuff we simply uh, we just mix it up just like we mix up the primer if you didn't watch that it's up here in the icard it's the exact same process it's the exact same thing the only thing that was different is this time it kind of marbleized and it didn't see like it didn't really want to mix all together and so when you apply it, it looks like it's marble. You're just gonna have to keep kind of mixing it before you apply it. And then if it kind of orange peels or marbleizes on when you coat it, that's fine. It's absolutely, it's absolutely natural. The primer itself was very slick. I thought it was the actual paint, but it's, I mean the actual epoxy top, but it wasn't. So both the, the primer is slick and this stuff is slick. Even when I sanded down the primer, it was still slick. And that was just the primer. I can't imagine what? I mean, I, I've never felt anything. It's slicker than a kayak's <laughs> bottom, for sure. I mean, the kayak is very slick. That's high density plastic the kayak's made of. This is, this is legit. This is what you need. Water One more time. <laughs> okay. right. Check this out. Let's see if we see if we can make it down the whole thing. We are. Okay, those are going to end us. Dang it, dude, is that one river is up? You have a little piece of hydro turf to stick underneath one of those cans or something and then we'll slide it with the hydro turf between it. Also be using this which is much more abrasive than uh, the other thing we'll also be sliding this Shimano Calcutta 400 we also do not give a shit about it. this drill get that drill we're sliding the drill all right Pretty heavy. Oh, I'm not good at that. Right. Shimano Calcutta. The whole time it wasn't recording? It's recording now. It wasn't recording, I guess. Trying the drill. It's pretty dope. Well, that did pretty good. Yeah. I think the rock was the most abrasive where we see, well, really no degradation to it, but you did see the rock, which is grippy as that was, kind of gave it a little bit here. Bear in mind though that I also, apparently when you get this stuff, you want to use it right away because if it sits, the longer the, the actual catalyst degrades and you won't get, this stuff will wear faster if you let it sit. So mine sat for over a year and they said you can't let it sit for longer than a year. After a year it has serious breakdown issues and it'll still work, but you just won't get as long of a wear. But if you use it right away, that's when the, the catalyst is the strongest, the part B, and you get really good usage out of it. So that, that was recommended by 
uh, the Gator Heads guy or Gator Glide, you know, the Gator Glide guy. We recommended that, but <clears throat> we approve. It's pretty sweet. That was good because I had, you know, I had some issues with the rivets, but now I don't have any issues with the rivets. One of the big things I wanted was the epoxy coating was with that stuff was to sink around the rivets. And so we got a pretty good sinkage. I can't see if this boat does leak, it's from something else entirely. It won't be from any of these bottom rivets. So that's like a secondary uh, benefit from coating this on top of just the sheer protection you're going to have against anything tearing or scoring or, you know, grabbing the hull, right? right? I mean, I think this stuff would... I mean, it's really going to prevent wear and tear significantly. And the bigger thing is you can just recoat it again. Really? You don't have to... What, maybe I mean, you might have there, to but... do something, but I mean, the guy I talked to, he said, you know, when it wears, you just recoat it. That's pretty so cool. it's like a continuous thing if you want the full benefit. You have to, you do have to check the bottom to see where there's signs of wear. Uh, Chris uh, recommended you use a different color primer um, than the actual epoxy. That way you can see where it's wearing and you visibly know when you need to apply it. Otherwise, I, mean, I got black on black. I can't tell. Well, yeah. It looks the exact you, same. When you're applying it, it lets you know where, if you missed any areas or missed any spots or anything like that. Like, because of the two different colors, the primer and then the regular top coats. So. Yeah. Let's put this there. have your boat strapped it's flying off the trailer for sure oh, oh man I mean, if you were to put this in your you know your truck bed especially if you have one of those so plastic easy. truck beds yeah if you had a plastic truck bed in this dude it would just glide right off this is warm dude kayaks warm. don't even move that easy no they don't they they move near as quick left and right and all, they're all weird on the like no dude that glides like and it ain't gonna get much heavier than that the deck ain't gonna weigh nothing so all we got is like a few things to stick into it. And that's good because we putting a battery and stuff in here, right? Yeah. That would get like, that's when it gets a little heavy. Right. But I mean, it seems like even if, at a, it, sit in there, get up in there and sit in there. Let me see if I can slide you with you. We're going to add a person and this will, oh, go ahead and step in there, it's fine. Oh, get that one better. Can you sit down? I want you like fall. <laughs> all right i mean this boat is not gonna weigh as much as as you within it right how much do you weigh like yeah there's ain't gonna be no 180 pounds in this boat so that really dude i just moved like close to 300 pounds like nothing that wasn't even hard for me that was Let's move enough. Okay, worth its weight in gold, ladies and gentlemen. We mean that. We mean that. <laughs> it's awesome. That's pretty impressive. That's very impressive. <laughs> we got one last quick thing to show you guys.
Check these out. We want to show you more of these, but we had to get far enough on this build. We don't really show you anything. Cool. Alright guys, so Ryan's down here and so is Nick. He's just out in town like doing some stuff. Uh, we came down here and had a little short collab. This isn't the whole crew, but that's because we're all spread across the country and we all have families and stuff, but you know, we're, uh, we collab when we can. We have way more collab efforts. So we're gonna try and do what we want a month yeah. for as long as we can, maybe more, it just depends. But he came down here to visit me in Lake Havasu. What do you think about Havasu? Dude, it is awesome. Yeah. Coming here from Georgia, like completely different, you know, the water clarity was, was mind blowing to me, honestly, but. What about the quality of fish? Oh, much better, <laughs> way more. <laughs> in my experience, much better. Yeah. A lot easier, just, uh, I don't know. I will, well, I wouldn't say easier, but. Um, de no, a different have, type of fishing. And then we got, I got to experience like different parts of everything each day. So like the lake, the main lake, the one day, then the, the river system another day. Yeah, you fished the whole thing, huh? Yeah. Fished up river, fished the whole lake, fished all parts of it. And then yep. we fished the Parker Strip yesterday. And now you got some pretty good stuff there. And just huh. the experience, yeah. Caught my four pounder. Caught your four pound smallie. That was my goal. That was the goal. Yeah, he came right when it was starting. Came two weeks later, he would have really had a fun, but yeah. you know, timing's everything. So. And, the but, and the stripper, well, he caught his first stripper as part of the, the strip club. Sweet. That was good stuff. And so stay tuned. We have a whole series running out. Check his channel out if you're not subscribed, which if you're subscribed to me and you're not subscribed to him, I don't know what you're doing. You're doing it wrong, but we're, <laughs> check him out. We're trying right to make here. things happen. Right there, right there. Let's do it. All right, guys, thank you much.